So with Power World being such a popular game, it seems as though it has upset many other gamers, gamers who are into that Pokemon. It's got to a point now where they're making things up because what they have realized is Power World has done Pokemon better than Pokemon has done Pokemon. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So since the release of Power World, I've seen so much anger from gamers in regards to Power World. It's gone from people calling it a scam prior to release, to now calling it an AI generated Pokemon ripoff, which will only last a week and then players will realise how bad it is. I mean the game's been out a few days now, broke all kinds of records and people just can't take the fact it is a better game than Pokemon. And please don't get it twisted. I love Pokemon, still buying cards for my collection till this day, and the series is probably one of my favourites. The recent games we've had though in my opinion are just not it. Game Freak released Scarlet and Violet in a terrible state and then went on to release a buggy DLC. And this is what I don't get. Poker fans were crying about the point in Game Freak releasing a half assed game and then releasing a half assed DLC. Yet when a new contender comes in in Power World and gives Pokemon and Game Freak a little something to think about, the same poker fans who hated on Game Freak are now defending that trash and hating on Power World. I mean, I have seen numerous people state that Power World has used AI designs to create its powers, which there is literally zero proof on at all. Nothing besides poker fans getting their poker balls in a twist and just making crap up. In fact, Power World had a trailer uh, three years ago. This trailer released three whole years ago. The game hasn't just popped up out of nowhere, it's been in the making for years, which people seemingly skip over. In fact, after vigorous research into where all these AI designs came from with Power World, the only thing I could see in regards to AI generated monsters is the CEO of Pocket Pair who made a tweet about Buzzfeed using AI to create Fakemon. It has nothing to do with the devs using it in the creation of Power World, nothing whatsoever. But even still, even if AI was used, who actually cares that much? Inspiration from Ark and Pokemon was no doubt used in the creation of Power World, and Power World being compared to Pokemon was always going to be a thing. Now the game's been released, it's probably bigger than most Pokemon games on the planet. These poker fans are getting their panties in a twist, and I can just not take this. I mean, for sure, some of the Power World Power's designs are questionable, but did everyone skip over the fact that a lot of the Pokemon we saw looked a lot like the creatures from Dragon Quest? I mean, we didn't care then. Why is it all of a sudden a problem now? The problem lies with the people who support such. People who support and love Pokemon can't deal with the fact there's a better Pokemon game out there which doesn't actually involve Pokemon, and that hits a nerve. And it's of no wonder we are seeing all kinds of things being made up to try and cast a shadow over this game. It's the world we live in these days. But guys, it is not working. Power World has sold over 5 million copies in 3 days. It's one of the biggest game releases I can remember. And the game's actually really good. It's simple, it's easy to understand, it's a game you can just switch off and play. It's everything I've always wanted from a Pokemon game. If Pokemon fans didn't blindly just buy Pokemon games and actually try Power World, they quickly realised that they haven't played a good Pokemon game in years. The fact Power World has sold so many copies should be something Pokemon fans should be celebrating. It means that Game Freak will have to take note and bring us something better or at least on par. But it's no doubt now because of Power World we will see better Pokemon games in the future. But all the bashing and negativity we are seeing on Power World, to be honest, within these days, it's quite normal to see a group or bunch of people hate on something popular. It's normal when that very popular thing takes away from something they support. But the other side of that coin is Power World will drastically change future Pokemon games. Power World is a great base to look at for inspiration for future Pokemon games, which I guarantee Game Freak will take notes of and incorporate. And this alone, that statement alone, will still upset Pokemon fans. I do think that these days we live in a society who can't just enjoy something. There always has to be that negativity. Even if it isn't there to find, people will create it to fit a narrative they have made up in their head because said thing takes away from something they feel attached to. 
from PC Gamer saying their experience of Power World was ruined by the fact you can slay your own pals to future benefit your progress in the game, labeling it animal cruelty. Two soft walk internet nerds who have nothing better to do but to complain about the slightest and dumbest things. That is what we are seeing here. I'm just glad the majority of players enjoy things for what they are and don't look too deep into the politics that happen outside of our control. Power World is a smash hit, a great game. One millions of players are enjoying and long may it continue. So yeah, hopefully most of you guys ain't aware of the nonsense being spouted about Power World and do so continue to ignore such. It keeps hairlines intact and testosterone flowing. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. Tell me your thoughts on this down below if you've seen some of what I've been talking about. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power Word, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.